Hi everyone, welcome to Culinary Vlogs by Z. My name is Zakia and today I'm going to be showing you how to make beautiful cake decorations using isomalt. As always, thanks to all my subscribers who have subscribed to my channel and are enjoying the vlogs. If you haven't subscribed, please click on the subscribe button down below and hit the notification bell next to it. Isomalt is a sugar substitute that is used in many cake decorations and also in some desserts. I prefer using isomalt to sugar because it doesn't burn easily and it can be melted down and reused again and again. Isomalt is easy to find in many cake supply stores and comes in various forms like crystals, powder and also in a slab. So it is advised that when working with isomalt you use rubber gloves because isomalt at hot temperatures can cause burns and it can take off your skin completely. So be careful. So these are just a few things that we will need. This is obviously the isomalt powder. And I've just separated them into two bowls um, of 250 grams each. We will also need a candy thermometer for this. You can see on this side it has the different stages of um, candy that you would be required to make. You've got your jam stage, firm ball, soft crack and hard crack. So I'm going to show you at what temperature we're going to get our isomalt so that we can get the proper consistency for our decorations. Then I've also got some gel food color. I'm going to be using deep pink but if you've been following me on my Instagram profile you'd notice that I have used a blue, a sky blue for a frozen themed cake to make icicles. Then I've also got these silicon molds. These are by Wilton and these are actually important because I'm going to try and make some shells with the isomalt. And these are just two different shapes that we have. So I've also got my macaron silicon sheet and I'm using the smooth side and a glass tumbler. And I'm going to show you what that is required for as we go along. So these are just a few basic things that we will require and now let's get to our isomalt. Now to melt the isomalt you can use any non-stick pan. I love working with my AMC pots. So I'm going to use this pot which is also non-stick and I'm just going to add in about seven and a half mils of water and then I'm going to add in my 250 grams of isomalt. So I've just placed this on medium heat and you've got your water at the bottom and the isomalt at the top. And then just wait for this to melt completely. about five minutes you'll notice that the isomol starts to get a bit glossy and you can see that it's already melting so you can give it a quick toss now so you can see that it's already melting and bubbling and at this stage I'm going to add in my candy thermometer And I'm going to wait for this to get to a hard crack stage which is about 160 degrees Celsius. Now my isomalt is actually completely melted and it's bubbling but my candy thermometer is still on a hundred degrees Celsius and I need it to get to the hard crack stage which is 160 degrees Celsius. At about 120 degrees Celsius 
you notice the bubbles start to simmer down and it starts getting a little clearer. And at this stage, you're not going to stir the isomalt because this will just increase the amount of bubbles in the pot. So leave it as it is and wait until it gets to 160 degrees Celsius. And let me show you what I mean when I say when you stir it, it increases the bubbles in the pot. Can you see that? So I'm going to leave the thermometer in the pot and switch off the stove. Now I'm just going to wait for this to cool to about 100 degrees Celsius. Then I'm going to take my isomalt and slowly pour this into my molds using a tablespoon. And I'm just going to spread that out a bit. You can see how quickly it starts to harden. And this one's just a small shell. And flatten it out. Then I've got my star. That's going to flatten out. And I've got a bigger star. So let that seep in there. Okay. And then using a toothpick, I'm going to just spread this out a bit so that it gets the complete shape of the mold. You could also take some pink food coloring and then just make like a pattern in between. So I'm following the shape of the shells and just adding in some color. So we leave this to completely dry out for my blue icicles all I did was add in some sky blue food coloring and this is the one that I used and then just stir that in to get that lovely blue icicle color. And this is already hardening, so I'm going to put it back on the stove. So you can see that it already thinned for five minutes being on the stove. And now I'm going to show you how I got the icicles for the frozen themed cake. Taking a tray like so, all I did was add in my isomalt. And then just spread it out a bit to get a square.
Okay. And what I also like about the isomalt is that you can make any decoration you like. So let me just show you a drip and what the drip would look like. Doesn't that also look so pretty? So leave this to also dry out. Now let's start with our isomalt sale and for that I've already added in about seven and a half mils of water and then I've added in my isomalt which is 250 grams. As we did previously we're just going to leave the isomalt as it is without touching it. And it's been five minutes and you can see that it's already starting to get glossy. So I'm just going to give it a quick toss and wait for it to completely melt down. And now that it's starting to bubble, I'm going to add in my candy thermometer and leave this to get to about 160 degrees Celsius, which is the hard crack stage. All right, so now that it's reached the hard crack stage, I'm going to switch off my stove and allow this to cool to about 100 degrees Celsius and then I'm going to show you how to make the isomalt sale. Okay, now that I've got my isomalt to 100 degrees Celsius, I'm going to pour this over my silicone mat and I'm using my um, the macaron mat, the smooth side of it. And then I'm just going to place this in like so. And then taking a glass like this, I'm going to place the isomalt over the glass. And this is going to give the isomalt the shape that we need. You can maybe pull it out here. And pull it a little bit here, and there, and then we're just going to wait for this to also cool and harden. All right, so these were the decorations that we made. Let's see. Oh, look how beautiful this looks. Doesn't that look super cute? Look at that. Let's remove this one. Nice. And then we've got our stars. Oh, these look cute. Okay, and then let's move on to these ones. So, look how beautiful this looks. You can use this in your dessert, you can use this in your cake decorations. Some nice pieces. And then this is the icicles that I made for the frozen theme cake. So to cut this, that's what you actually do. And these were the icicles that I got for my frozen themed cake. I love this color. All right, and then let's move on to our sale. So this we remove from the glass. Leave that aside, turn it over. And look at that lovely sail that we have to put on top of our cake. So to add some extra decor for the sail, I'm just going to add in some gold powdered food coloring and some olive oil. 
So you're going to make sure that your paint is actually quite thick and then I'm just going to do an outline on the edges here. So remember that these sails will not be the perfect shape that you envision in your mind because it will take its own shape but the end result is actually so beautiful. You can use this on a cake and imagine how pretty that cake is going to look. And these are the beautiful cake decorations that we made with the isomalt. Just remember, isomalt is fine to eat in small quantities, but too much of it can make you sick. It does taste a bit like unflavored candy, so if you'd like to add in your own flavorings, you're welcome to do so, and also add in your own color. Hope you've enjoyed making these cake decorations with me using isomalt, and will at least try it yourselves at home. Um, you can tag me on my Instagram profile at culinaryvlogsbyz, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel.